Hey everyone, Jason here, and welcome back to The Layout. Remember a few videos ago what I said about not buying any more Norfolk Southern Heritage units? I intend on this being the final Norfolk Southern Heritage unit I buy. The final Norfolk Southern Heritage unit I buy. Yeah, I lied. Today, I have a new engine that's been added to the collection. It is the MTH Premier Norfolk Southern Monongahela... Monongahela, Mo Monongahela, Monongahela, Mononga, Mononga, Monongahela, I bought another heritage unit. After some internet research, I learned that the most common way people pronounce it is Monongahela. I probably should have known that, considering I grew up in Cleveland having to explain to people how to pronounce Cuyahoga River. This is MTH item number 20-20281-1. It was cataloged in MTH's 2013 Volume 2 catalog and was delivered in February of 2014. All of MTH's original 20 Norfolk Southern Heritage units in the Premier line were delivered in this black and white Norfolk Southern box. Now, if this engine came out in 2014, how did I get a hold of one? Well, this is all thanks to my buddies over at Classic Toy Trains and Collectibles in Manassas, Virginia. They're a nice train store that I've bought a few items from lately, and they acquired a collection of a lot of MTH Premier engines. And on that list of items was this Heritage unit. Now, I've seen the Monongahela Heritage Unit in real life a few times, and every time I see it, I keep thinking to myself, wow, that's a really beautiful paint scheme. I love the gray, the white stripe, and the red M on the side. That's just really sharp. So when Classic Toy Trains and Collectibles offered it to me for a really great price, I had to jump on the opportunity and make sure it was added to my fleet of NS Heritage Unit. Out of the original 20 Norfolk Southern Heritage paint schemes, this will be the eighth one that I've added to my collection. I already have the Penn Central Heritage Unit, the Southern Heritage Unit, Nickel Plate Road, Conrail, Norfolk and Western, New York Central, and the Pennsylvania Railroad. And I'll say it again, this will be my last Heritage Unit ever. Maybe. Now, I'm not going into a full in-depth review of this engine. I have many ES44s like it on the layout already, but it is everything you would expect from a top-of-the-line MTH Premier model. It has a smoke unit, it has a great sound set, it has two motors, it's highly detailed, and the paint scheme on it is flawless. Anyway, let's get this thing fired up and take it for a spin around the layout.
But wait, there's more. I got a second locomotive from Toy Trains and Collectibles as well. And yeah, you're seeing correctly. It's a Rail King item. Pretty odd for me. Everything I get is usually MTH Premier. But this is Rail King scale, so it is scale proportions. Okay, I've got the engine out of the box. It's in my hand right now. I'll give you a little hint what it is. It's an SW1500 switcher. But what road name is it? I'm sure you can't possibly guess what road name I might have added to the layout. You ready? Oh, Norfolk Southern. Who would have thought about that? As I said, this is a Rail King scale switcher. So it's scale proportions, but maybe not as highly detailed as some of the Premier line items. But you can really only pack so many details into a switcher. So as far as I'm concerned, this thing could pass for a Premier line and it's going to fit in just perfectly with the rest of my collection. This is a relatively new item that was released this year. It's MTH item number 30-20828-1. If we take a close look, you can see that it's very well detailed, a lot of separately applied grab irons. It does not have a smoke unit, however, on the plus side, it does have two motors. And that means that this little switcher has an awful lot of pulling power. I'll have to test it out one of these days and see just how many cars it can pull. But it does have a sound system as well. I am very pleased with this locomotive. All right, I think it's time that we take this little engine for a spin around the layout. Well, that's going to do it for this video. A big thanks again to Toy Trains and Collectibles in Manassas, Virginia. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new items run around the layout. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.